Hello everyone, today is um, Wednesday, October 6, 2021 at 2.22 a.m. Excuse me. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I wish that everybody would, could come to a consensus and um, just realize the truth about everything that's going on because there's so many twisted stories and lies and everything and then the people lying on me and slandering me and coming together with the same stories as the perps it's like they, they're all um pretty much if you say the same thing as the perps say of course i'm a, of course i'm gonna assume that that you're siding with them you know so I mean, I'm I'm very sleepy and tired, and I just got finished watching a couple of videos. So, I mean, if we all, I mean, one of the things I want to say is, I'm feeling hurt that my own twin sister, you know, it's trying to convince people that I'm not targeted, but I'm mentally ill. But she acts like she sympathizes with other people who say that they're targeted. And how can you believe strangers over your own twin sister? You know, so the foster mom should be to blame and the foster care system should be to blame for why we're feuding right now. And I'm basically trying to get my twin sister to see the truth. You know, and it's like she's still programmed. I just, I mean, I use, I mean, I have not been watching her videos or anything like that. I have not been watching her videos that much, you know. So when I know that she ha has a whole entire, how, how are you looking out for what's best for me when you have an, a whole entire channel trying to discredit me? You know, you have a whole channel, you, you know, trying to discredit just about every post that I do and convince everybody against me. And in one moment, you say you want what's best for me, but then you say you're done with me. And, um, like, you, you, you don't realize how dangerous the, psyche, the psychiatric system is that, um, you know, she tried to say, well, the Social Security system says that you're diagnosed with schizophrenia schizophrenia so there you have it <clears throat> you know but it was fraudulent for the foster mom and the social worker miss karen pierce the foster mom adrian felder and the so social worker miss karen pierce so you know they they lied and said i mean my twin sister she knew that the foster mom and the social workers and, and everybody were doing us dirty and everything <clears throat> and, and it's sad that the foster system broke us apart in the way that it seemed like it's supposed to be like no mending or anything like that. So she's trying to convince everybody and other people are trying to make it like as if I'm just a user and a scammer and defrauding people <clears throat> and stuff like that. And I don't know what I can do to convince people of the opposite. I have a, you know, a new job that's temporary. I'm working. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it's like strangers are doing things to attack me and my twin sister. She's okay with that. I don't have a right to have a voice. And, and she gets all this support. And she reverses on me and lying and said that I'm the one who got all these supporters and everything like that. When I don't, I don't even get that many people to defend me. <clears throat> so, one way to describe. If y'all know, one way to discredit a real targeted individual is to try to say you're schizophrenic, you're mentally ill, you're sick. So, I mean, it's like so-called targeted individuals, they act like as if they can't see when a fake T.I. perp is, is perping another T.I. So... This might take more than one video, and I wish I was less tired and less sleepy. No, not that, because I need my sleep. 
but I wish that I could have done this video at a time where I was well rested. <clears throat> so I suffer chronic, you know, a lot of us targets suffer, if, I mean, <clears throat> suffer chronic sleep deprivation. And personal experience, I know that um, even though I'm a very nice person, <clears throat> I didn't realize that being sleep deprived can make you moody, irritable, tired. They say it can make you extra hungry, you know, and throw off your balance, you know, with your appetite and everything. <clears throat> and so, um, I don't even know where to start with this because I know it's going to take more than one video. And I'm not trying to sow discord. I'm not trying to be messy. And, you know, I just hate the idea that this, you know, <clears throat> I, I mean, it's it's like, I don't, I, I don't know if it, I think, I, I wonder, it's, I'm just afraid that my, my, my twin sister is going to, she's, she's going to end up believing the truth too late if anything happens to me. <clears throat> because it has to be some powerful mind control and witchcraft to get us to not get along. <clears throat> and and so, you know, she, she I mean, it's like y'all see my videos. I mean, so my twin sister tried to make like, oh, just Candy is a crazy person and just anything trigger Candy and set Candy off and stuff. But I'm just showing y'all that a person driving in a red car with one headlight and having their arm hanging up, the, like sometimes they do their tactics in stages. So, you know, it seems like, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's like, um, I know I'm kind of all over the place because I have a lot to say and I can't even say it in in two videos and I can't upload it until later on in the morning you know or in the afternoon so how is I'm, I mean it's like I have a new job now and it's temporary but I don't know how long it's gonna last or how long it would last <clears throat> you know and so um <clears throat> I, I mean, my twin sister is trying to pretend to play like she's innocent and wants, I mean, and has my best interest at heart, but she, and she is, you know, teaming up with others to, to bully me online, you know, and so it's like, let me back up. So, <clears throat> the reason why I'm going to talk about Ashley Burks, because it's like she was, um, you know, I don't have that much to say about Ashley, but I have something to say. <clears throat> because, all right, <clears throat> last year, now, now see, my twin sister, she's telling certain stories about me, and she doesn't even have her, her story straight, you know, like, Alex had Alex Dupree had been gang stalking me since September, somewhere around September seventh, two thousand nineteen. <clears throat> so <clears throat> then, you know, I mean, damn, I, I wish I, I needed that three hours, and I don't have my laptop with me. <clears throat> so. It's like, I, I I do remember, you know, there is a such thing as targeted individuals selling out and becoming perps. And a lot of y'all are lying and in denial. And then when y'all turn against me and start perping me, then y'all same narrative is the same story as the regular perps. You know, and then, but y'all not going to say, come out the woodwork and be like, hey, y'all, I took a deal. Y'all not going to tell everybody that y'all took a deal and sold out. You know, so it's like, well, it's like, I'm not trying to be messy. 
I'm not trying to sow a discord. I'm just, you know, stating my personal experiences. So, Ashley, I don't remember who reached out to who, but she would, you know, talk to me. Like, I had, like, only maybe a couple of phone conversations with her. <clears throat> and it's like, when I see her commenting on people's channels, she talked like, you know, she talked like she's awakened to the truth, awakened to the Illuminati, the New World Order, these agendas, and know the Bible and everything. But then she turned around, and when I was on the phone with her, she acted like as if she didn't hear what I said or like she made it like she made it like as if she had no clue what I was talking about and stuff like that. And then um she kept asking me to repeat myself like as if she wasn't paying attention. And so then um I heard through a you know, another person, you know, it was actually a couple of other people said that she was a um that she sold out. And that's why and that's why some some targets a lot of them take their videos down because you know, once they sell out, you know. And so it's like I I don't even know if she took a deal and sold out or whatever, but there there were a couple of times she she seemed like she was, you know, acting like she was nice to me, but, you know, it seemed like she was playing all kinds of psychological games on the phone. And then, like, when she, she, and, and, and when a person donates to me, you know, I'll be honest and say, yeah, this person did donate to me, so I'm not going to lie about that, you know. She donated me $10. It was after Alex ran me out of Pensacola last June of 2020. Not this past June, but the June before that. And so she offered me, and she said, well, why don't you come out here to Ohio? You know, she. Well, I don't think she had a place to live at that time. And I, and so, <clears throat> it's like, um, so, it's, so it's like, um, there was a, like, that Tony H person had told me that that live that she did with Ashley and Monique, uniquely made warrior, that they um you know you know that the the video that that they were perping her, and that they um you know were bullying and ganging up on her you know and that I remember she told me that. They didn't that they didn't believe her because she said that she was kind of scared about telling her story or whatever. And so she said something about that they both teamed up together and called her a perp and blocked her or something like that. You know, I just hate how messy everything is. You know, it's like that nobody in the targeted individual community can get along and stuff like that. And everybody's confused. I'm like, how can we be all saved and part of 144,000 if everybody is either perping it? I mean, if you, if, I mean, <clears throat> one of the first thing a target does to another target is when, when you get upset is the first thing they do is try to perp you, you know, and, but you, but y'all both struggling through the same thing or, I mean, I mean, suffering through the same thing. <clears throat> so, um, one time it was September and there was a shadow from a tree. And another person said, you know, that Ashley Burks was trying to perp me and trying to like be subliminal about death or something by asking me, is that blood on? And Ashley, she kept asking me and I'm like, what are you talking about? And she kept asking me, is that blood on the streets? Is that blood on the ground? Is that blood on the ground? <clears throat> and so that's just like with Crystal Newman, when she tried to tell me, she tried to ask me, she questioned me about an orange jumpsuit. And I figured that Crystal was perping me. You know, that's a different topic. <clears throat> but pretty much kind of the same thing. And Crystal was a fake nice perp as well, you know. 
So, I mean, a lot of these so-called targeted individuals aren't even solid Christians. And they sometimes flat out, you know, they either the fake black Hebrew Israelites cult or they be dabbling into the new age or a cult or witchcraft or whatever. And so, you know, so, of course, I, I mean, like, well, I'm a, so it's like, I know Ashley and Monique, they're buddy-buddy with each other. <clears throat> and so, um, so it's like, once another person had gave me confirmation that, um, you know, that Ashley was a perp. That's when I blocked her and, and didn't associate with her no more, you know. And then I even saw Ashley on my twin sister's page or instigating and, you know, trying to make fun and stuff. But at first I thought Ashley was a nice person. And I was like, what did I do to you for you to decide to start perping me, you know. <clears throat> and so then, um, because, yeah, I mean, I mean, I heard, so it's like, then, I mean, I, I I had the some of the videos private, but I talked about what Tony did to me earlier this year, you know, and and so um, it, it's like you you know Tony was supposedly targeted, and then turn around and start to like when we got into, when we had a falling out, then she started to act like a perk, you know, and so then. <clears throat> um and and me and Tony would talk on the phone. I don't remember how many months. If it wasn't February February or March and she donated to me a couple of times too, you know, or, or a few times. And um she I don't let, I mean she I mean she was supposedly targeted, but but then, you know, <clears throat> See, I'm going to have to do a second part to this video. So, so I mean, um, so, I'm kind of nervous and feeling kind of rushy, because I, I have to, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I mean, it's like everybody's against me, and they want to say that I'm not a real target. I've been called a fake target since... I've been new to the to what I thought was the TI community, you, you know, and they have certain targets, the true ones. I never said that I was the only real target, but a lot of so-called targets have sold out and took deals, I guess, to pre prevent themselves from either, you know, I mean, they couldn't take the targeting anymore, so then... I don't I don't even know if they take a deal because of their because of being scared about being sacrificed or killed or anything cuz they want to sacrifice and kill us targeted individuals. I have like if y'all got any doubts about Candy Grand Prix, if y'all think I'm fake and y'all know the tactics, look at some of my videos and look at as many as you can or as many as you have time for. You don't have to watch everyone but you know, I've been suffering like chronic sleep deprivation. So, anyway, so a lot of people have their dog on government name, you know, the first name. So, I mean, Mo Monique, who calls us, a, you know, Mon uniquely made warrior, <clears throat> it's, it's like she had, I don't remember, I think she reached out to me. I think if it wasn't August or June, July, or no, it wasn't June. It was either July or August 2019. And me and her would talk all the way until February. Well, let me cl clarify the, the donut situation. And, and then, you know, let me clarify the donut situation. Um, she got that. I don't, I don't know if she was intentionally lying on me or if, if she got that mixed up with another situation. But y'all know I'm emo, I'm not 
like mentally ill or crazy or anything like that, but I'm emotionally sensitive. A lot of us been traumatized and deal, deal with it in different ways. <clears throat> you know, and and so a lot of us deal with it in different ways. And so, I mean, I have not contacted Monique since right before her birthday was sometime like February. And so I have not contacted her since then. But then my twin sister did a video saying a vocal letter to the tar the targeted individual community. And I had, I don't really like sit down because I've been, you know, fighting my own situation, <clears throat> trying to better myself, trying to get back on my feet. And I've, I've been in, in, like stuck in a hole since, you know, Alex ran me out of Pensacola and dealing with this COVID is making it difficult. You know, and so then, you know, Monique, when she first got on the phone with me, she she tried to, you know, condemn me about telling all my business and and stuff like that. And it's like, well, other TIs do the same thing. Like, because like, she tried to say, well, you shouldn't put, you should, because my name was called just simply Psych World at that time. And she said, oh, you shouldn't put your put your business I'm like what well, I'm like what well, like other people have they have their names so <clears throat> they have their name or they mention their name on their channel or whatever <clears throat> so what's wrong with me doing it I mean that was the first thing she said and I remember because it, I think it, I think it was I was coming from that wait hold up well maybe it wasn't August then because I, I, I remember walking <clears throat> I remember walking from one of my old jobs and walking to the mall. But it couldn't have been August. So it had to have been September then. I thought it was before then. Or maybe I was walking maybe I maybe I was maybe it was August and I was working a swimming pool job. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I think it was a swimming pool job. <clears throat> and I was sleeping by the abandoned bank. You know, and that um <clears throat> That Circle K, I wasn't banned from that Circle K, but, um, you know, when I would try to go use the bathroom, they would play all kinds of psychological games and and be rude and stuff. And so that's why I found my so-called designated sleep spot behind this abandoned build, this other abandoned building, you know, and I never pee, I never, like, David Jane likes to lie, bully me and lie and say I piss in people's backyards. I never do that. <clears throat> so, you know, so then, um, I mean, we talked about a lot of different things and a lot of our targeting, and you ought to know that, you know, I mean, I, I, mean, I have not dealt with her in, in like, you know, yeah, it's been over a year and a half. <clears throat> so then, you know, we talked about a lot of things. And let me clarify the donut situation. The donut situation, I I, I don't remember 100% everything, but I clearly remember that um, it was during the day and kind of in the morning, and I was washing my clothes doing laundry, and there was the donut shop next door. And I was talking on the phone with Monique, and she said, um, I mean, and, and, and when I was talking on the phone with her, a man, he, he offered to buy me a donut. And first I was like, uh, I, I mean, you, you know, and I, I, I was like, I wasn't sure. Cause me trying to, trying to be more health conscious and stuff like that. I mean, health conscious, you know, I was like kind of iffy. And so he, you know, offered the donut. And so she got mad over the phone and started yelling at me like as if I did something wrong, you know. <clears throat> and so, I, but I tried to tell her, I said, he, he didn't just give me the donut. I said, he went, he's going in the store right now and buy the donut. And I kept my eye on him like the whole time. And it didn't take him long to, to you know, go inside and give me the donut and then come back. So, I, I mean, he just went and purchased the donut, and I saw him the whole time while we were on the phone. <clears throat> but that is not the reason why we had a falling out. And I don't even remember doing a video about that. I really don't. 
Maybe I did, but I don't remember. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so then, um, because we still talk, we didn't even, like, we still talk consistently even after that, and we didn't even get into an argument, really, uh, at that day, <coughs> you know, <clears throat> but I wanted to say, well, Monique, you know, wanted to help me, I never heard of Cash App, but she was the first one who told me, you know, get a Cash App, you know, and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm okay, because I felt like, you know, at that time, I wanted to be independent, you know, <clears throat> and so I wasn't asking for money at that time, you know, so, um, <clears throat> I guess it was around November, I got a, so October or November, between October and December 2019, I got the Cash App account, and she told me to, you know, get the Cash App, and so, and so, um, you know, she was the first, and she donated me $40, thanks for that, but, you know, <clears throat> but there were times when, um, me and her, well, we would have, like, small little disagreements, but not big enough that we blocked each other and didn't talk to each other and stuff like that, you know, but the thing was, you know, she did invite me, you know, to come stay by her. And, and, and it's like, I don't know if she was playing psychological games or not, because when she would offer me to come stay by her in South Carolina, I mentioned that Lisa Ruby, that fake deliverance minister, the, the, the traumatic situation that I went through with her is, you know, the reason why 